So in this video, we'll be looking at the proof of cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. As I said in the previous video, it's very uh, easy to confuse it with cos A minus B. But uh, to try and not confuse them, that the cos A plus B is much easier than cos A minus B. And just remember that the cos A minus B is the difficult one. Okay, so as usual, we're going to start off with our green box and the key points that you need to remember. So again, you might want to pause the video and um, write this in. So the things that you need to remember, you're going to use the formula on page 14, cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So you start off by writing down that formula. What you're going to do is replace anywhere that you see B, you're going to replace it with minus B. And then the key two points that you need to remember is that cos of minus B is equal to cos of B, and sine of minus B is equal to minus the sine of B. They're on page 13, but I'll go and explain them to you now where they actually come from. So over here, we can see our unit circle. And in red, I have drawn in the angle B. So the cos of B is this x-coordinate down here. Remember I said the cos is the x-axis, so the x-coordinate is the cos of B. In purple, I have minus B, the angle minus B drawn in. Minus B always measured from the positive side of the x-axis, so the minus would be down here. And then the cos of minus B is straight up to the x-axis, and we'll find that they are the same point. So we get cos of B is equal to cos of minus B. And I'm missing in light blue. Then looking at the sine then, sine of B. Sine of B is the y-coordinate. Sine of B is the y-coordinate, so that's why the point, the x-coordinate, is cos B. The y-coordinate is sine B. And looking at for the sine of minus B, be down here. So this point is sine minus B. Where are the coordinates for that point? And I'll put a little bracket around that, that's how it's written as a point. So you can sort of imagine it that this number might be, it's close to 1, so it might be 0.8-ish. Okay. And then this number down here is, well, it's a negative number and it's close to minus 1, so uh, you could say minus 0 0.8. 0 .8. And they're just an example of what it might be. It's close to minus 1 and we can see the relationship between them. So that the sine of b is equal to minus the sine of minus b. Okay, and you can practice that with any angles. So cos of 30 is equal to the cos of minus 30. You get the same thing out and just uh, try it yourself right now. So let's go back to the actual proof then. So you have your green box written out there. You start off by writing out what's on page 14, which is, well, page 14 was this cos of a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sine a sine b and on point two we replace b with minus b and you might notice what's going to happen here on the left hand side minus by minus will be plus what about the purple box here well, from the green box above i know that cos of minus b is equal to cos of b and here that will end up being minus sine b. And multiply it out, and that's it done. Proof completed. QED, nice, easy one. It's a lovely one to be able to ask, to be asked after having to prove this one. So really make sure you do not confuse cos a minus b with cos a plus b.